Who is responsible when something anyone can edit goes wrong? Today, we'll be discussing accountability and ownership in open source software and how these ideas relate um, directly to ethical issues surrounding copyright patents, um, especially in the technology, technological and cyberspace. Before we define our research questions and thesis, we want to define what is open source. Open source is when free access to modification and redistribution of code um, happens. Our research questions are who should be responsible for open source software misused? How do open source and proprietary systems differ in accountability? And what ethical issues arise from shared access to software? Our thesis statement is open source promotes innovation and collaboration, but the lack of clear ownership on it creates ethical issues surrounding security, responsibility, and accountability. This is a short review of our references. The purpose of the references used was, first of all, to provide context of the legal, ethical, and um, technical implications of open source software, and of course, support our analysis and discussion of ownership rights and responsibilities of its use. These are some of the academic research papers used. We had Mandrisak and, well, all of these discuss how many patents can slow down innovation, how open source changes business models um, and, and market structures, how open source is evolving and why it should stay open and modifiable. Of course, we also use the definition that was previously discussed. Some of the pros of open source software is that we have free access and community collaboration. Anyone can contribute to the code and access it and benefit from it without any cost. These encourages learning and innovation since from students to developers and researchers can access the code and learn from it and of course benefit and contribute it. Um, transparent development happens because everyone can see how the code works can um yeah can see and 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 yeah, and the code is transparent since anyone can see how it works. Um, we have faster problem solvers since solving since we have a larger group of people from um, any any background and any social status collaborating in the code. We have a, a broader, pers I'm sorry, perspective on it. And flaws and bugs can be spotted quickly and solved. And as mentioned before, it supports global participation since anyone from anywhere in the world can can collaborate and and benefit from it. Then we have our cons, where there's no clear ownership on the code and accountability becomes unclear. So when something goes wrong, who are we to blame? Then we have um, security vulner vulnerabilities that may spread easily since exploiters can see, study, and well, since hackers and malicious actors can see study and exploit the code, exposing certain vulnerabilities. Then we have that abandoned projects may back maintenance. If maintenance quit, the project can die and again, expose um, the software to vulnerabilities and the commercial interests that can reduce openness when there's, there's companies that take open source code and then resell it and redistribute it for a cost. This is our analysis of the global impact that open source has. So first of all, the worldwide influence. As mentioned before, people from anywhere in the world can access and participate um, in the code. And it also helps countries like less fortunate countries or, or people with fewer resources to access and, and benefit from this technology also adopt it for certain further needs. And it encourages cross-border learning since we get perspectives from people anywhere in the world. And then we have global challenges that these presents. First of all, that of one vulnerability or hack or exploit may affect systems worldwide if, if a code is, is used. Then we have different laws regarding copyright and patents that might complicate use since these laws differ from country to country. And of course, these unequal standards may increase the risk of, of vulnerabilities. So these are some of the ethical considerations that we have regarding open source software. So our first question arouses, who is responsible when harm occurs? 
right? Since open source software has no single owner, harm can come from either bugs or, or unintentional flaws, but they may also come from malicious actors and hackers that exploit the system. Traditional systems point to the company or developer, but open source does not. So it takes us to our next question. Is it fair to blame the original developer? This is kind of controversial because the developer may not always be um, controlling the code at that time. And it might also um, stop developers from open sourcing their code, which takes us to the next question. Should all contributors share responsibility? This is also controversial since some contributors only try to fix small bugs or, or add like small changes while other contributors um, take advantage of the whole program and make it their own. This is also controversial since there are some contributors or free deployers that stay anonymous when, when using the code. So how do we balance freedom and protection in open sources? Um, some people propose a hybrid model where we have open source regulated and there's a guideline that, that defines how open source accountability must be promoted or enforced, sorry. So our conclusions, <clears throat> sorry, trace back to how open source and proprietary systems both have value depending on its usage. Of course, a lot of proprietary systems are also built on top of of open source and ownership and accountability are still a complex issue since it cannot be properly defined. Um, security risks require certain guidelines and, and cooperation between all the collaborators of open source. Global impact shows both opportunities and challenges for anywhere in the for everyone in the world that contributes or uses the code and a balanced or hybrid model that promotes safe and sustainable innovation should be enforced or, or promoted to have safe use of open source software. Thank you.